These individuals today who say that the Bible has been corrupted are not supported by the major figures of Tafsir. And I want to begin with one of them who is quite important in the history of Islam. I want to speak about Abdullah ibn Abbas. Abdullah ibn Abbas wasn't just anybody. He was one of the Sahaba. He's a Sahabi. He was the cousin of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Ibn Abbas said, the word Tahrif signifies to change a thing from its original nature and that there is no man who could corrupt a single word of what proceeded from God so that the Jews and Christians could corrupt only by misrepresenting the meaning of the words of God. In another book, Ibn Abbas' statement is repeated. They corrupt the word means they alter or change its meaning yet no one is able to change even a single word from any book of god the meaning is that they interpret the word wrongly ibn kathir recorded the same statement of ibn abbas as for allah's book they are still preserved and cannot be changed what is it that ibn abbas tells us he tells us essentially that by tahrif is meant not the changing of the text but simply the changing of the meaning this is the testimony of one who was an eyewitness the cousin of muhammad peace be upon him so we must keep in mind that someone like him is esteemed and placed above all other commentators not only because he was close to the situation, but because of his loyalty as one of the Sahaba. And his tafsir is that the words of Allah cannot be changed, and that there was no tahrif, the lafs, a corruption of the text, but only tafsir bil ma'ani.